So if your organization has at least 100 employees and you'd like to automate some or much of the work done by those employees uh, using artificial intelligence, I'd like you to consider Inspira AI for that work. I'm a solutions architect at Inspira. My name is Benny Traub. I'm also the COO. I lead a team of engineers who have the background and experience to automate tasks, particularly for work that's performed uh, by people who work on computers all the day, sales and marketing, HR, finance, big portions of operations, uh, you name it. It's a very exciting time to be alive. And um, according to McKinsey, we can already automate more than 60% of all work. And that includes work that isn't even done on computers. Um, and of course, that number is just uh, going up very fast. Every uh, few months, it uh, goes up a few ticks. Um, let me give you one example of a project we did that was really fun to work on. It was in the visual effects industry for the movie industry. Uh, so VFX Los Angeles, one of the companies uh, that we um, that we own and uh, work on, uh, one of the tasks that is repetitive is the quotation process. Okay, so when you're going to work on a movie like The Creator, like we did recently, or other TV shows with you know 10 or 20 or 30 episodes, you've got to produce some kind of a quotation and a proposal. And developing this proposal is a very technical and time-consuming process. So for a typical movie, here's what would happen. So a movie director or producer would come to us and uh, give us a script that would be typically, say, 100 page long. One of our VFX supervisors, uh, who with many years of experience, uh, has to read that script in detail and make lists of all the visual effects shots that are going to be done in that movie. So for example, the fake gunshots or fake explosions or fake helicopters flying overhead, that's the type of thing that we have to look for when we examine those scripts. Um, the, uh, the process is very time consuming. And then when you find those shots, uh, those potential visual effect shots, you have to come up with a production game plan for how it's going to be done. Uh, you know, how many people are involved and what kind of tools would need, uh, need to be employed, um, what kind of server resources for rendering, that type of thing. And, and then uh, quotations are basically derived from that assessment. Well, it's very time consuming and uh, it's very repetitive. And so it's a really, it was a really good prospect. And so we, we developed an AI system that could take a script, a hundred page script, or really any pay, number of pages, you feed it into the AI system, which takes you know seconds. The AI system then uh, reads it for the visual effects supervisor, does all that stuff that I just mentioned to you. And uh, uh, normally it would take a human uh, visual effects supervisor about two days to do that work. And so imagine how much labor that is over the course of the year. You've done do many, many quotes over the course of the year. Um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the AI system comes back, not just with a whole assessment, but with a written report that's basically just needs the final touches put on it. And the visual effects supervisor, of course, reads everything, validates it, and finally stamps it with his approval and sends it to the client. That whole process for the human time now takes about an hour and a half up to an hour and a half, where it used to be 16 hours. So it's just a tremendous labor saving. And uh, really, uh, the, the number of automation opportunities is limited almost only by your imagination and by the economic realities, because some automation, uh, some tasks to automate them, it just really wouldn't be worth it yet. Okay, the technology is coming along to where maybe eventually it might be worth it. Uh, but you want to pick tasks that are repetitive and time consuming. And those ones are the ones that you can get your money back relatively quickly from. And uh, the ones that are done infrequently, those are the ones that would be more time consuming to get your money back. Uh, but I want to encourage you to wherever you're at right now, don't let your competitors get ahead of you. Uh, if you haven't started on your journey towards automation, you really need to get started now. And I'll tell you why. If you don't, uh, what, what's going to happen is you're going to be put in a position eventually of forced adoption. Meaning you're going to have to adopt the technology, but you're going to be forced to do it. And, and at that moment, it will not be convenient for you and it will not be in, inexpensive. It'll cost you way more then than it will now. And the reason for that is because if your competitors can get ahead of you far enough to where their pricing, their, their, their labor costs have been reduced enough, so their pricing is really making a difference to the buyers, um, they're not going to stop by automating one or two things, right? Even automating one or two or three things might make enough of a difference for them to get to work. Um, but uh, they're not going to stop. And so, you know, every few months or every year, they're going to automate more and more and more. And if they get far enough ahead of you, you'll never be able to catch up. So they'll always be in a position of being able to produce um, 
value uh, for less money and, and in less time, then you can do it. And uh, you'll at that point in time, when it comes time, to, if you're if, if you get caught in that situation, um, you're going to be running to catch up and it won't just be speed. It'll be you're going to have to pour a whole lot more money in it to catch them, um, you know, to, to scale up quicker. And so that's why I want to encourage you just to get started. And hey, if you've never done this before, start with something simple. And um, the, I, the there's a uh, uh, a principle probably that you may not have heard of. It's uh, called Haler uh, human to AI leverage ratio. Essentially, it just means that once you automate um, your workflows, for every one minute of human time, your automated systems are going to output a human equivalent of uh, production that it would take a human of some multiple of that one minute. So one minute of human time might equal 100 minutes of productive output, human equivalent productive output. And so if you can um, start automating, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20% of your work, uh, even if you're at 10%, that's enough often for many industries to become super competitive. And uh, for example, if you're, you know, in the in the race with Blue Origin and SpaceX to take um, uh, shipments up to the space station for NASA, uh, if you could shave 10% off the time it takes you to uh, that uh, that it takes you to produce that, uh, a your 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 labor costs are 10% cheaper. But it's not just that you're actually able to deliver 10% faster. And so between the cost reduction and the uh, speed of production, it's just tremendous what difference that can make, even at just 10%. And if you can get yourself to 20%, of course, then it, it could be a game changer. Like for us in the in the in, uh, movie industry, um, if uh, James Cameron, say, was producing his next Avatar movie, and uh, you know that, that when he shoots that movie, it only takes him a few months to shoot it, but it can take him several years to do the post-production, to do all the sound design and the visual effects. And so if he goes to, say, for example, um, uh, uh, inter Industrial Light and Magic, one of our competitors, and he says, hey, can you do this visual effects for me? And they say, sure, it's going to cost you a you know, million dollars, and it's going to take 10 months to get it done. And then he comes over to our company, VFX Los Angeles, says, how long will it take you to get it done? And we would say, well, it's going to take, it's going to cost uh, $800,000 and we can do it in eight months, 20% less. He would say, well, gee, holy mackerel. He says, I want to get my movie out for Christmas. So I'm going to go with you because you can shave two months off the time. And even if, even if we were charging more money, even if we said, oh, it's going to cost 1.2 million, uh, uh, the chances are really good that James Cameron would still give the business to us because time is of the essence in that industry. So whether it's reduction of costs uh, or whether it's uh, speeding up labor or whether it's uh, you just want to scale your company without having to uh, go through the pain of hiring more uh, more staff because it's very painful. It's very time consuming, very risky, and um, it's a very challenging process, as you know. And so, um, you know, if you can scale without hiring as many people, that also is a big advantage. So there's many, many advantages. Uh, the biggest one <laughs> that I want to highlight again is getting out in front of your competitors because you, if you can get out in front of them, they're going to be playing catch up and it's going to be extremely difficult for them to catch you. So um, at the moment, uh, we have a wait list. Uh, but um, and so I encourage you to get on that wait list. And, and once we're through the people we've got, uh, we'll get to you and um, uh, we'll do a free assessment for you, help you sort out what tasks can be automated, which tasks should be automated, which ones you should tackle first, how long it'll take you to get your money back, and then start getting into some real profits. All right.